All right. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel so tired, and I don't even know why. Like, I'm just tired. This week has been long, and it's Tuesday. So, uh, anywho, yes. So, this is an official Camp NaNoWriMo update. I suddenly realized last week that I have not made an official Camp NaNoWriMo video this camp, which is very sad because I have been really thriving this month as far as my camp goals go and the book is coming along and things have been going really well. In fact, I've been posting about it on my Instagram account a lot, uh, which that's if you aren't following me and are interested in seeing all that stuff, then the links are in the description box below for social media. Anywho, point being, I have tried vlogging um, several times and it just ended up being random footage of me apologizing for not shooting footage. <laughs> So that didn't really work. So let me just give you a real quick update on what's happening with Littlehood, what's happening with my camp goals, and how life is going as far as writing goes in the middle of this, the craziest camp I think we've ever had. First of all, let's just appreciate that my hair is just like, because that's like, that is my life right now. It's everyone's life right now. What am, who am I kidding? So my project for Camp NaNoWriMo, which I cannot remember for the life of me, if I announced, I think the last time that I really talked about it was my goals video at the beginning of the year. Um, but it's Littlehood, which is my second middle grade fairy tale retelling. My first one, Snow Dust, is already out. Um, and we'll, the paperback will be available by the time you see this in a week and a couple of days, like a week and a half from when you see this video, so keep your eyes out for that. But it's Little Head, it is based on Little Golden Hood, also by Hans Christian Andersen, uh, which is an alternate version of Little Red Riding Hood. It's, it's a very interesting fairy tale. Like, it's got a really cool twist ending that I'm excited to be writing about. But as you can see from my notebook, I've been tracking really steadily, and I have written all the days I was supposed to so far, except for two, two days, I ended up taking a break because I just could not write those days. Although the one day I think technically I did take a full break, I still wrote a couple hundred words. My average word count goal, just looking at what I have here, has been in about the uh, 16 to 1700 word range. Although I'm very proud of myself, the last, the last week, the last full week, my average has been 2500 which I think is really amazing. And that's for like one day, not just one writing session. Most of those days was a combination of an afternoon writing session and an evening writing session. Uh, and then like last night I got 949 words. So, you know, my average, I've talked about this before, my average tends to go up and down a lot depending on where I am in the story. Um, so I am definitely on track with my camp goals. I'm actually ahead. Like I think I'm gonna be finishing up my camp goals probably by the end of this week. Um, I'm already almost at 30,000 and you know, my, my goal has been 35,000 because I thought that was going to be what it took to finish this book. I wrote the first half in March, I was going to write the second half in April and I figured I would only need about 35,000. Um, the full manuscript is now over 50k, which again I think is really awesome given that the last version that I wrote of this, the zero draft of this version of the book was... Ugh, I want to say it was less than 30k. I can't remember specifically. Maybe it was over 30k, but it was definitely not 50k. Okay. Um, so on track with my camp goals, but not quite on track with my actual, like my personal writing goals. I guess still yes. My goal was to finish the book by the end of April so that in May I could begin developmental edits. But I was also really hoping that I could give myself a few days break at the end of the month to just not work on this, <laughs> to work on something for fun. Um, because I suddenly realized that I hadn't worked on something just for fun in a while and my brain needs a creative break. So I may, if I don't finish by the end of the month, I may, I may just give myself a few days at the beginning of May, maybe like the rest of the week because camp ends on a Thursday. Maybe I'll give myself Friday and the rest of the weekend to work on something fun. I don't know. I don't know, but I am currently sitting plot-wise right at the beginning of Act 3. I'm fixing to break into Act 3, and uh, I have four, four scenes or four plot beats. That's right. I have four plot beats left in 
my outline that I have, but looking at that outline, I'm thinking there's probably anywhere from six to 10 scenes left. Act one was remarkably short uh, compared to how big act two has been, which is normal. Um, in fact, I think it may still be longer than the snow dust act one but it was still a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be, and Act 2 so far has been way more worse than I thought it was going to be, so I have no clue what to expect from Act 3. I know that at this time, last draft, I was already ready to be done, and so the the last act of the Zero draft was so, it was basically just a bunch of brackets around, put this here and put that there. I was basically not even a glorified outline, it was just an outline. <laughs> it was really sad. So I'm, I'm very excited to go in and actually write the climax and actually write the final scene, the final image, the resolution, falling action, all that great stuff. Story, as far as the book itself is going, oh my gosh, you guys, the story is so much better. It is so much more fleshed out. I had to take a couple of breaks in March and then again here in April to re-outline some things because as I was moving through the outline, I realized that some things weren't quite working out well. Again, I'm a planter, which means I do outline first so I know where I'm going, but I have to be able to change things on the way because I never get it right in the outline. It's just, it takes many drafts and many outlines to figure it out. So I did have to stop and re-outline a few things, but I was able to move forward pretty quickly from that. And so, yeah, it's, oh, the story is amazing. The character is amazing. I'm so in love with Blanche, who is the main character. She's an 11 year old girl who's just got so much fire and so much spirit. I'm just so excited to be writing about her. Her mother is an amazing character. The grandmother's an amazing character. The woodcutters, and everybody's are, everybody's amazing characters. And you know, the villains are, are shaping up so much better so much better than last time. So overall, the book is amazing. I'm just, I need a break. <laughs> I need a break. I need a creative break just from writing on this particular project. Um, I think just because of how mentally and emotionally I was affected the last time that I tried writing that Zero Draft last fall, it really bothered me how bad it turned out. Like it really bothered me. And I've been, I, I could feel the dread building to March when I started writing this draft of it. And it's been alleviated some, the dread has been alleviated some as I have seen that the book is actually turning out really great, but there's still a part of it that's like, I need to have this draft done so that I can just go through and start fixing things so that it starts feeling like a real book again. Um, I think that's one thing about having written a book and gotten it all the way up to publication is that now as I'm going back through and I'm working on my second book, I'm not having imposter syndrome, I'm not having that, and I'm really not doubting myself necessarily in whether or not this book will be as good. I'm looking at the story and thinking it definitely has that potential. <sighs> trouble for me is how much work. I know now how much work it's going to be. <laughs> and there are moments when I, many moments, days, whole weeks, where I just don't want to do all of the work that I know is coming to get this book to publication. So fortunately, I have most of the rest of the year to work on it. You know, I'm doing developmental edits in May, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, sending it out to betas in June. And then like July and August, I can finish doing more edits and then do some, um, like, line edits and copy edits and stuff like that in September. It goes off to the professional editor in October. Uh, and then it's just proofreading after that. So I have a whole, almost a whole year. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just it's still a lot of work. And I had wanted to write other books this summer, but I may still get a chance to do that. I may be able to fit in another project on the side. We'll see. Another exciting thing about Little Hood that actually is making it really exciting for me to be working on it right now is that I started today actually working on the official cover design with my cover designer. Um, I sent her some stuff, she sent me some stuff, and we're in the middle of figuring out models for it, and then we're gonna work on backgrounds, and I'm so excited! Unfortunately, I won't be able to share the cover with you guys for quite a while because publication is so far down the road, but I'm still working on it, and it's still turning out amazing, and that part in and of itself just has me even more fired up to complete this project and to keep moving forward with it. So I think honestly, like I was getting into some serious burnout. Um, really like, I think this whole weekend was most of what I'm feeling is actually like disappointment in myself but for the burnout, that's, it's affecting me physically. Um, and just, just having that, the cover images, the first initial looking for a model and stuff, that has gotten me all fired up again to finish writing this book and to give the amazing cover that I knew was coming the book it deserves. So yeah, I am super excited and I think I just, I don't know if you can tell, but I am already feeling so much better. I'm not feeling as tired anymore. I'm sure once I'm done with this video, I will crash, but <laughs> 
you know, it's life. That is all that I have for you today. I just wanted to give you guys a quick camp update. Um, camp is over at the end, or the middle, the Thursday of next week, so yay, but sad. Um, excited to see Little Hood end. I was hoping to get it done by the end of this week, but we'll see. We'll see what I end up with. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to click the like. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe on the way out. I post writerly content, uh, inspirational stuff, how-tos, and these kind of writer journey updates uh, every week. And I guess this week we might be getting two. I hope we're gonna be getting two because I have another one planned for the end of the week. So stay tuned for that. I love you all so, so, so much. Anything you need to know about me, my books, I have a book out. It's in the description box below. All that's in the description box below. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing rest of the week writing. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.